Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner. This is the Men's Individual World Time Trial Championships, 43 kilometers up in Belgium, pancake flat. Now, when you're watching it live, the commentators are talking about just how much excitement and how this course is set up for all the big time trial favorites. And we're talking guys that are 170, 180 pounds, over six foot. It is a pure power course. Now, the organizers did a great job of separating some of the favorites to have a lot of excitement at the beginning of the race. And then, of course, the best time trialists in the world. We're talking about Wout Van Aert and current world time trial champion, Filippo Ghana, who's going to leave last down the ramp of today's race. Now, first to come across the line is the Italian rider, Matteo Sombrero, and he'll have the fastest time. Next up will be Great Britain's Daniel Bigham, who will have the fastest time. This is a great feel-good story because we haven't heard his name before, and he's coming through with best time. He doesn't get to enjoy it too long because it's the German rider Max Walscheid that, that'll come through and dislodge him with fastest time. Next up, Stefan Bissinger. Now, we've seen Stefan Bissinger win time trials in Paris Nice and always fighting for the wins and podiums throughout this 2021 season. And he sets a fast time, 28 seconds faster than Max Walshide, but he doesn't get to hold it for too long because it's Remco Evnepoel back there, the Belgium rider that's absolutely blazing. He went through the first time check fastest, went through the second time check fastest, and now he crosses the finish line Fastest time on the stage by over 40 seconds. To top it off, the next rider following behind him, Eduardo Affini, who is a time trial specialist himself, is more than a minute behind Remco Evnipool's time. So we know this is a fantastic time. And to our disbelief, if you were watching it live like I was, all the commentators were talking about how this was just a big guy's course and there's no way a little guy can win. Now, when I was racing in Europe, I only got to win one time trial because I'm a little guy. And that's why I brought the jerseys up. It was at the Basque Country, but I had it in my favor that year because it's incredibly hilly, not pancake flat. So when you're seeing Remco Evnipol, and he's basically about 100, probably 40 pounds, I guess, maybe 135, small guy, but setting the blazing time on today's individual men's world time trial championship. But remember, like I said, the organizers did a great job and the favorites are all coming last to leave the ramp. Now, 11th from the finish to leave the ramp is Tony Martin, the German ex-world time trial champion. He takes off and he's setting a fast time, but it's not going to be enough to break Remco Evnipol's time at the finish line. Tony Martin, though, did a fantastic job finished sixth at the end of today's race and this will be his last world time trial championship had a fabulous career congratulations tony martin i hope you enjoy retirement and a fantastic last showing here at the world time trial championships now let's get into the favorites in the top 10 because Tade pogacar two-time tour de france winner and we've seen him win time trials he's next to leave He's taken off from the ramp, but at time check one and time check two, he's clearly not going to beat Remco Evnipol's time. Next to take off from the ramp, Remy Cavagna, the French rider, but he's having the same effect as Tadej Pogacar. Solid times, but not enough to dislodge Remco Evnipol. Now we start getting into the meat of the race, and we're talking Casper Asgreen. He'll come through the first time check with the fastest time on the stage. Next to follow, Stefan Kuhn goes through the first time check. Again, dislodging Casper Asgreen for the fastest time on the stage through time check one. But wait, while Van Aert is just now leaving the ramp, and you can tell when he leaves the ramp, he is flying before he reaches the first left-hand turn. He looks like he is blazing. When he comes across the first time check, he is up by 17 seconds. Every rider, we're talking Casper Asgreen that went fastest time through the first time check, then followed by Stefan Kuhn breaking his time. Now Wout Van Aert breaks that time by 17 seconds. Last to leave the ramp, current world time trial champion, Filippo Ghana, and he looks fantastic on the pedals. When he comes through the first time check, though, he's six seconds down on Wout Van Aert. Now you start wondering how much time can the current world time trial champion possibly gain back on a rider of Wout Van Aert's caliber. 
When Casper Asgreen comes through the second time check, though, now he's losing time to Remco Evnepoel. He was up on time check one. Now he's losing on time check two. Don't worry, though. Stefan Kuhn's coming through for sure. He's got some excitement for us. When Stefan Kuhn comes through, he loses time to Remco Evnepoel. They went from time check one, taking the fastest time, both riders. Now time check two. They're both losing to Remco Evnepoel. But Wout Van Aert is setting a blazing time back there. When he comes through the second time check, he's up by 31 seconds on Remco Evnepoel. We could tell he's in for a win at today's World Time Trial Championships. Behind him, it's Filippo Ghana. I lost all thought of Filippo Ghana for the second time check because Wout Van Aert set such a blazing time. There's no way in my mind that I thought Filippo Ghana could come back. But at the second time check, the current world time trial champion is even on time with Wout Van Aert. Now we got a drag race between Wout Van Aert and Filippo Ghana all the way to the win to see who can win today's individual men's world time trial championship. Wout well, Van Aert, who did a great job through time check one of saving an almost crash when he went into the left turn and absolutely clipped his pedal there and sent his bike going sideways, saved that, went through time check two, way up on time, blazing now all the way to the finish line with a bike throw at the line to take the lead in today's individual men's time trial championships from Remco Evnipol. But behind is Filippo Ghana, the current world time trial champion, and he is not ready to hand his crown over. He is blazing on the pedals. Filippo Ghana will come across the line with the arms raised. Wout Van Aert, who was walking to the podium, is just turned around, arms to the head, in disbelief that he lost by such a small margin in today's time trial. Now, get back to Filippo Ghana because it was a fantastic show. I mean, he's six seconds behind at the first time check even on time at the second and up by five seconds at the finish line to take back-to-back -back world time trial, individual time trial championships in fantastic drama and style. Congratulations, Filippo Ghana. Well deserved. You are the man of today's race. There is no doubt about that. Wout Van Aert, you have the men's road race coming up. You are the five-star favorite. Today's silver medal. You know when you win as much as Wout Van Aert, you got to expect a lot of second places. I don't think it'll take him too long to forget that one. Remco Evnipol, you are absolutely fabulous. To be a guy of your size and go a podium at the individual World Time Trial Championships, a flat time trial championships, nonetheless, is spectacular. Today's race was fabulous to watch. One of the best individual time trials I have seen. Absolutely loved every minute of it. Thank you for the organizers for putting it on. Fabulous the way you organize it. Remco Evnipol, amazing ride. Filippo Ghana, well-deserved. Well, Van Aert, looking forward to you. You're one of my five-star favorites in the men's road race coming up next Sunday. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to The Butterfly Effect, and I'll see you real soon on the next edition.